Hey guys, I hope everyone's day is going well, and in today's video I've got a super highly requested tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to perform the trick, the double hook. So this trick is like super widely used amongst the O community. It looks really good in competition, and overall it's just like a nice like slick trick just to put it in there. It's a nice little laceration. Just a quick heads up before I start the video, I'm going to be using the SF Cadence. There is a really cool review coming very soon for you guys to check out, but stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, so first I just want to show you what this trick looks like from my perspective. Alright, so that's basically it. Alright, so this trick does look pretty simple, I know, but there's a little bit more to it than you meet the eye. So, first I just want to break down what's actually happening, okay? So, of course I'm going to slow this part down for you and everything like that, but I just want to give you guys like a close-up of what's actually happening with the string. Alright, so first of all, just make sure you have like very, very little string tension. If you have string tension, it's going to make this trick so much harder, so just get all of that out, and it'll make the learning process a whole lot easier. So what's actually happening, I know with the original hook, what's happening is it's, it's one loop just coming around. This little loop right there just comes around like that, alright? Very, very simple. With the double hook, now what's actually happening, and this took me a while to actually comprehend and like understand, is it goes around once, so it's the, the string's gonna come around your finger once. Just like, see how I'm whipping just one string like for a Brent stole? It's gonna go around your finger just once, and then this tr string is gonna carry around and go like that, and land like that. Okay, so let me explain it a little bit better. Basically what's happening is it's gonna go around once, so with normal hook, two strings come around usually. We're gonna start with it just going around our finger once like that, so we have this little wrap right here. And what happens is the string keeps on going and whips into the groove of the yo-yo. And now you have one, two, that's the double hook. So here's what you do. You're gonna whip very similar to a normal hook, just like that, except you want to focus on whipping as hard as you possibly can, all right? This, you need to give the string as much momentum as it can have to get around there. So, essentially, with the normal hook, it's just kind of like an easy, relaxed thing, like that. With a double hook, it's very more, it's like a whole lot more intense to get there. So, that's tip number one for this trick, is just make sure you whip as hard as you can. Tip number two is, this goes along with whipping the string very hard. You want to go and pull up with your whip. Now, I know with, again, the original hook, it's just like, a, just like that. It's very simple. With the double hook, what you're going to do is, once you're here, see the string comes around? If you pull up a little bit, so I'm pulling up with my throw hand, up a little bit, it makes the string come up a little bit more. It is possible to do the trick just like that, but it is a whole lot easier if you pu actually pull up with your uh, throw hand right after you have whipped it around. So once you're at this point, once you're right there, you want to pull up like that. And so what that does is it's, it's, it's raising the string up and it's uh, allowing it to have more momentum to go into the groove of the yo-yo. So that's another tip. If I just do a normal whip, see how it's like the slack's barely even coming around. We need to come around again. What you do, if you pull up though vertically like this, the slack comes around again. Another thing that kind of tripped me up when learning this trick is like understanding how I only whip one string and then another one comes around. You're gonna actually be moving your finger just slightly, okay? So I know with the normal hook, your finger just stays in the exact same spot. You wanna move your finger just a little bit forward as the trick progresses. So this can be a little bit hard to understand. Here's what's happening. So. When you whip that first string around, you know, it's just it's just one string. When it comes around, you want to get both strings into the groove. So you need to push your finger forward a little bit so that it comes in time for both strings to come through. Now, that is a little bit hard to understand. It's just like when you have one string coming around, like that, um, and if, it, if you keep your finger one spot, see, it just it whips around again. You're not locking into the actual groove of the yo-yo. If you push your finger in, that's how you're actually getting the string to wrap around your finger all the way and into the groove. All right, one last final tip for the double hook is to keep the placement of your finger very close to the yo-yo, all right? So you don't ever want it to come um, under the yo-yo like that. There's there's no way that you're gonna be able to do the double hook. And if anything, you don't want it to be too much over the yo-yo like that. You want it to be just right with the yo-yo like that. And that's gonna give you the b biggest success rate to get the string into the groove of the yo-yo. All right, so those are all the tips I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys understood all of the like tips and tricks I had. And that's about it for this trick.
Alright, so that is about it for my tutorial on the double hook. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this and were able to learn this trick from this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. And also, if you're new here and haven't seen my videos before, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. Now again, this trick can be very hard for some people, so if you're having trouble with it, just stick to it. And if you have additional questions or need additional help, definitely leave a comment down below or you can email me. My email is in the description and I'll be sure to help you out. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.